Oh, hey guys. Uh, I went today to get a backpack. I left a couple backpacks in storage in Clarksburg. I needed one. While I was there, I thought I'd get a, a raincoat or maybe just a windbreaker of some sort because the weather's starting to turn here already. Uh, leaves are starting to come down off the trees. I, uh, I got a rude reminder that European sizes are not the same as American sizes when it comes to clothing. They don't account for the belly that I have. Because quite frankly, Germans, for the most part, don't have a belly. And the reason for that is quite simple, is they walk a lot more than we do. From my hotel to the store where I bought this was a mile. It was a mile to walk there and a mile to walk back. It didn't take me any more time than it would have taken me in the United States, really, because I would have, if I were in Clarksburg or Dayton, I would have had to get my car and drive to Target or Walmart or wherever I wanted to go to buy the backpack. And when I got to this store, it was a store that specialized in outdoor goods, like coats and backpacks, that kind of thing. There were more than one store in the business district, and inside the store was a wide range of backpacks that I could have bought. Much greater selection. And the great thing is, is that in my two mile walk, I got in 4,500 steps and, and burned about 220 calories. I don't need to go to the gym because I'm about to walk to work also and burn another 200 calories and I'll have my 7,000 steps in today. Now I was looking out of the window today on the other side of the building at, at, at the city and just how dense it is. And, and then I was thinking as we walked to work, and there's old women out shopping, Central Business District. Either they walked here or they took the bus. That's what people do here. Why do they live this way? One, because Germany doesn't have a huge source of oil and they, they had to live this way. Um, but another reason is the Autobahn just doesn't come inside the city. That was a design choice that they made. It was a choice that the United States discussed back in the 30s and 40s. And there were critics such as Lewis Mumford said, don't do this. We need to return to a pedestrian scale in our country. We need to maintain that and we're going to destroy our cities. But the powers that be at the time didn't listen. And then they were shocked at the criticism they received over the intervening decades. And finally, even the DOT, US DOT starting to listen and say, yeah, we made a mistake doing this. Because instead of bringing new life by enabling suburbanites to come into the cities, what it did is it just encouraged middle-class people to leave the cities, encouraged businesses to leave the cities because all that available land out there is cheaper and you could build a bigger store, a big box store with a huge parking lot. Why wouldn't you do that? Now we've had some misguided attempts across the United States and in Clarksburg uh, to demolish buildings thinking that, well, we demolish buildings that'll free up space for parking, whatever, we can build new bigger stores and it has not panned out. We've got a few auto parts stores downtown some banks, nothing else has come into our downtown because the problem was never the old buildings. The problem was, is that the land out on the periphery is just that much cheaper. And if you make it easier to get out there, people are going to do that. They're going to follow the path of least resistance. They're going to take the easy way out. And in the end, what we find is if we demolish a building thinking we're gonna get a new store in there. They're gonna say, well, I don't have on-site parking. We need to demolish a second building. And then the taxpayer end up spending money to demolish two buildings. And then the developer says, well, everything's out there anyway. Why would I put it in here? And the cost of all that demolition uh, is money that could have spent on sidewalks, on mass transit, on mental health care, addiction services on police, fire, water, sewer, anything. And in the end, all we've done is destroyed our built environment. We've destroyed perfectly good buildings that we'll never get back.
It's hard to get this through to people unless they see it done another way. I'll holler at you later.